go like this. I don't know. What do you think? Like this. Like this. Yes. I choose this. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Relationship, Relationship Reality with the Garlands. Here we are. We are happy to be here. We are excited. It's been a minute. We had a little bit of a crazy few months. Yes. But we are so excited to catch up on Married at First Sight and watch season 15, episode 15. Are you my person? Are you my person? Are you my person? Yeah. Are you my person? Yeah. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. <laughs> For now, let's watch. In true season 15 fashion, we are off with a bang and a continuation from the last episode um, where they were playing soccer? Dodgeball? Dodgeball? <laughs> dodgeball? Yes, they were playing dodgeball. Yes. And uh, then, you know, they separated with their teams afterward and, and they. And Lindy and Miguel are still on their train of, I'm going to crash and burn! <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. They have not reconciled it yet. They are still... Grr! Right, yeah. <laughs> they are what, charging at each other, a speeding train, and the the track shifter is stuck. <laughs> <laughs> so they're about to slam into each other, tragically. Anyway, that was a very long... Metaphor? Metaphor. <laughs> um, but yes, no, they're not in a good place. Lindy is still very upset with Miguel um, about the side comment he made at the end of the game when it was in the last episode, but he was like, um, oh, you know, your husband's still here. You're not going to give me any love, you know? And it was just like, pile upon the bricks of shit <laughs> already yeah. from the weekend, Miguel. Miguel had a bad week last week. Let's oh, just yeah. put that plainly. Yes. Um, and it's getting worse. Yes, it's, it's, <laughs> it's not looking better yet. I mean, he's he always expresses that kind of insight and realization. Like, he recognizes what he's doing that's wrong. Right. But then he just keeps doing it. <laughs> that sounds very familiar. How so? Huh? Uh oh. Not in my marriage. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they are having some common experiences. Yes, I think. Oh, okay, before I go down this train, can't we just talk about how Mitch is a terrible listener? <laughs> <laughs> he was giving his confessional about why he thinks Lindy and Miguel are having a problem, and it was just way off base. Like, he is just so self-involved. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. He doesn't want a woman that'll stand up for herself, whatever, whatever he said. Right, and that's not- I know he doesn't have a Southern accent, but that's what I did. <laughs> Yeah, no, not at all. <laughs> I think he's from San Diego, babe. Yeah. <laughs> so, but anyway, sorry, my Mitch tangent. tangent. Um, the thing with Lindy and Miguel, they are mirroring the things that are triggers for each other. Like, they have the same triggers. They have yeah. the same, like, issues. Like, Miguel, he's not showing it but he has a massive temper. He has a massive personality flip, and we saw it this weekend, finally. But, and Lindy's, what's Lindy's like biggest problem? Her like massive like mood swings and flying off the handle and being upset and big, being emotional. Big with her emotions. Yes, they have the same issue. So Miguel is freaking the F out because he's seeing himself. Yes. And we have that issue. Yes. Also, he's seeing parts of himself that he doesn't like. Absolutely. And then he tries to control. So he's trying to control Lindy like the way he thinks he controls himself, and it's just not going well. No, on, on either end of that. Yeah. But there is so much room for improvement. I, I still have high hopes for these two. And the episode's just getting started. I'm sure we're going to see some resolution to this. I still have faith in them. They can do it. So here we are leaving the retreat, which I'm sure is necessary because it was pretty rough for Lindy and Miguel. They're my priority. No, I love all the couples <laughs> equally. <laughs> I miss Ben and Morgan. What can I say? 
But um, they're driving home and Alexis and Justin in the car. What do you think? Well, they were talking about sex and Alexis pretty much said that he had some things to work on and he said that he needed to work on his stamina and it was all very embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> For Justin mostly. Yeah. <laughs> I, I see what Alexis is trying to do. She's trying to challenge him to step up. Well, and also in a marriage, you should be able to talk about everything openly. That is true. And sex is one of those things. You yeah. should be able to say the hard, embarrassing, and the uncomfortable things. I mean, yeah. we did that. Yeah. And we have like... <laughs> the best. <laughs> Top notch. <laughs> World class sex. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> True. <laughs> but it's important to talk about those things. But yes, that was totally embarrassing. I feel like she probably could have chosen a time where there wasn't a camera on them to talk about that. Because mm -hmm. it's a very personal thing. Yeah. But you know, better out than in. <laughs> Get yours, Alexis. Um, you know, this whole talk about is a good marriage worth mediocre sex? I don't have to have that conversation, so I don't know what I would do. <laughs> but I feel for y'all. I really do. <laughs> yes, sorry for your loss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then we're home with Chris and Mitch, and um, they're unpacking, they're chatting. Apparently Mitch is going to a conference and he wants oh. to go to the conference as single Mitch. He mentioned single Mitch as part of that. We've already seen teasers showing that he wasn't wearing his wedding ring during the conference. Right. Are you wearing yours? Okay, good. What are you doing, Mitch? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Mitching it up. That's what he's doing. He's mitching oh, things up again. God. He just stay mitching it up. You I know. can't. <laughs> and now we're home with Lindy and Miguel, a more <sighs> somber discussion <laughs> about the past weekend and all of the things. And here we go again, Miguel catastrophizing everything. Did I use that word correctly? Oh, that was great. Oops, 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 oops. <laughs> She knows words sometimes. <laughs> um, Miguel t catastrophizing, you know, what if they can't work it out? What if this is this? What if this is that? And they end up in divorce. And, <sighs> and Lindy said, well, if you want to be with me, then be with me. Right. You say that you love me, love me. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. It reminded me of a line from one of my favorite songs by Ockerville River. Okay. If you really want to love me, well then do it. Because love is a choice. Love is a choice. And you kind of like got to choose to get through these incredibly difficult conversations. And you have to go inward. You have to realize you have to like look at your own shit and be okay with confronting the pain that you hold inside. Because that's the reason why you fight with someone that you love. That's the reason why you nitpick them. Mm. That's the reason why you want them to be perfect is because you want yourself to be perfect. Yeah. Stasha and Nate at her new house. Wow. Woo! Good on you, Stasha. Mm, my girl, <laughs> she is successful. Here to see it. Love to see it. Get it, get it, get it. And Nate, you are a lucky man. I mean, I like looks, smarts, success, total package. Mm. Style, total package. But man, she's gonna have to let go of that clean white house as soon as they have children. Oh yeah, the whole, I'm gonna watch my kids, they're never gonna touch anything. I mean, who? it's not to say that your kids will draw on the walls. I was not a child that drew on the walls. Did you draw on walls? No. Right, so that's, <laughs> but, <laughs> to just think that your impeccably brand spanking new White House will remain the same through 
child rearing? No. Just no. No. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> and give the man some grass. Let Nate have some grass in the backyard. That reaction, it was so big that it was, you know, oh, I'll compromise grass. Who's gonna take care of it? I will. Uh. You know what it was? It's cause deep down she was like, but are you gonna be here? Um, are you gonna stay with me or are you gonna leave? Really? She doesn't trust that he's gonna stay yet. She has trust issues. That's wild, because I feel like Nate is gonna stay. Right, once he saw that house. <laughs> <laughs> he lived in his car, right, at some point. So yeah. he was like, a big house. Yeah. <laughs> My own private room to poop in. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I'm gonna poop. <laughs> But yes, Stasha, give Nate some grass. It'll be fine. So Justin goes to pick up his dog, Maya, and he's sending her to live with a friend of his, I guess? Yes, in another state. So he had to remove Maya from this training place because she bit another dog there. Uh, I'm an animal lover. You know what? These shirts are very appropriate. Mm. These are our animal love shirts. Get them on dozeland.com. <laughs> <laughs> I am an animal lover. I have a dog. We have a dog. We have a cat. We have animals. We love animals. You worked at the Animal Foundation. But Maya is a problem. Well, not every dog is a good dog. You know what? Justin is really the problem here. Oh, OK. Tell me why. The reason Maya's like this is because Justin failed to do his job as a doggy daddy. And I'm not surprised because... He, he avoids things. Yes. <laughs> instead of confronting, like, this is a problem, I need to, to meet it head on straight away. He avoids it. You know what it is? It's because he's afraid of making a mistake. Mm. Because remember, Admitting he said that. Admitting to a mistake. Well, because he would say that he would go to his brother and say, I have this problem. His brother would say, figure it out yourself. So he's terrified of like doing something stupid. Right. Which it, it makes him do stupid shit. <laughs> I, no, what he's really terrified of is needing help and asking for it. And the th fact of the matter is we all need help. We all need to ask for help and we all need to kind of swallow the pride and get over ourselves. Because if you ask for help, you get further <laughs> in the things that you need. I don't yeah. know. It's silly. We're humans. We're silly. Yeah, I, I feel really badly for Maya in this situation. Um, and I hope that she goes to a great home. So Stasha and Nate are shopping for finishes on Stasha's house. Cause it ain't Nate's house yet. <laughs> He's got to earn that. Boy, does he. Maybe, and maybe he'll get a remodel. <laughs> right. Maybe he'll get to refresh the house. Down the line. <laughs> Not for like 15 years. <laughs> but of course it went as I would assume it went. The things that Nate liked, Sasha hated, which she was well within her right. He was looking at some handles that are martini glasses. Sir, no. Just no. No. Are you making... A mid-century modern Airbnb? No. <laughs> then no, you don't get the martini things. Are you making a contemporary retro Airbnb <laughs> in Palm Springs? <laughs> then no! <laughs> Those handles don't belong there. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I'm not, I'm not surprised that Nate got a little irritated and was just like kind of over at the end because Sasha is very like my way or the highway. Right, so why am I here? Right. So we'll, I mean. She'll bend eventually. She'll bend this much, but what'll end up happening is what happens most of the time in heteronormative relationships. The wife has a vision and she executes her vision and the husband gets a little to no input. Also known as happy wife, happy life. <laughs> Aw, Justin gave up. Maya, his dog, to his friend. Yeah. And his friend, like Maya really seems to love his friend, so it seems like a great place for her. True. Seems Very like true. a solid dude. <laughs> seems like a 
solid doggy daddy do. <laughs> so we all, love to see it. All's well that ends well. Thoseland.com. And, yeah. and Alexis showed up to uh, support him, which was a huge deal because that dog bit her dog in the face. That dog bit her very old and frail dog in the face and made an eye bleed. Yeah, so big deal that Alexis showed up for Justin in this moment. And... Well, she kind of had to because she got her way. <laughs> like, she was like... No, she Get didn't Get rid of that to. dog. That dog still <laughs> bit her dog in the face. Right, but, she, but he also got rid of the dog, sent the dog away, was like, I'll get rid of the dog for you, baby. So she kind of needed to show up for him. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm glad she did. It's not tit for tat, but it's like... Like, yeah, that's a common decency you show up. Alexis and Justin are talking about him giving up Maya and he wants Alexis to recognize the sacrifice he made. Yes, and Alexis doesn't want it held over her head for eternity. This is a simple communication breakdown. Mm. Justin says it in a way, he, he says kind of like, this means that I'm really in this marriage. The fact that I'm willing to give up this dog that I have raised from a puppy. That I love most in the world. Right, I have raised her poorly from a puppy. <laughs> Watched her bite several other dogs before she bit your dog in the face. And did nothing about it, nothing. <sighs> Sorry. But anyway. <laughs> and I'm willing to give up this dog that I love more than anything for you. And she did not respond the way he wanted her to. Oh no. He wanted her to be like, yes, babe, I am in this with you 100%. I am committed. I will not leave you ever. That's what he really wanted to hear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what she said was, I understand that. I recognize that. Don't hold it over my head. Don't mention it again, ever. <laughs> Kristen and Mitch, Kristen, I picked up what you were putting down, my friend. <laughs> what, what was she putting down? So Kristen and Mitch were talking, he's still at his conference, and she said in her confessional, yes, I really want to enjoy the remaining days we have together, or something like that, or enjoy, or enjoy the time that we have left. The remaining few days, I think. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. thank you. I want to enjoy the remaining few days. Did you get it? Did you pick up on it? Let me explain it to you, just in case. She has already decided she don't want that man. She don't want them problems. She'll take some problems, just not his. Yeah. I don't <laughs> Somebody blame Somebody else's. I do not blame you, Kristen. No, Kristen, you could find someone richer <laughs> and ready to have babies and a big ass house and loves your idea of flipping houses. Mm. Just saying. Bye, Mitch. <laughs> All right, now it's time for workouts. And tequila. We start off with Lindy and Miguel. Workout time. Lindy does not like to work out. No, she... Tequila. Becomes a cheerleader for Miguel. <laughs> Which goes, I mean, it's, you, you know, it goes like everything goes for them. Where they're talking and they're not hearing each other and everything's cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have a little girl time and guy time. Girl with... time over here. Girls! Ladies! <laughs> <laughs> Stasha and Alexis get together. And fake do yoga. Right. It was super awkward. <laughs> it was super fake. <laughs> it's like, what are you even, what is happening? What, you're, what is this? And my dog is licking my heel. Hi, yo, puppy. Dog um, needs some attention. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, Alexis and... Sasha do fake yoga so that they can have girl talk and Nate and Justin do fake working out right <laughs> so, so Justin can, can talk, talk and Nate can stand there silently right and lift weights and Justin not <laughs> <laughs> 
While Nate, Nate silently disapproves of everything Alexis does. <laughs> <laughs> Nate is not a fan of Alexis. This is what I've learned from this segment. Yes. Yeah. Nate and Alexis, it's a no. No. Nate thinks she's a snitch and will never forgive her for what she did to Ben and Morgan. Snitches get stitches. <laughs> <laughs> But it was interesting that um, Justin has decided to do the good old high school <laughs> um, style oh. of living and saying, well, if Wait. she's not going to choose me, then I'm not going to choose her. I'm going to send you a note during class. Do you like me? Yes, no. Maybe. If you put maybe, I don't like you. I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's seriously super immature. Yeah. He knows that he loves Alexis. He wants to be with her. He wants to make it work. But he's afraid to put himself out there. And he's afraid of being rejected by her. Because, you know, sometimes sister girl does exhibit some I ain't really in this <laughs> vibes. Yeah, I would say... More than sometimes. So, but still, that is a very immature way to react. You should not do this. This is not an okay practice. No. Yeah, bad move, Justin. And Nate, I understand you just don't like Alexis, so you're going along with whatever Justin says where she won't be around. <laughs> Stasha and Nate still talking about the house. <laughs> I surprised her with that one. <laughs> and how he's gonna make it his he he has a valid concern like what happens if things get get bad are you gonna be like get out of my house yeah yeah like if it's gonna be our house it needs to be our house mm -hmm. Even this is the way that stasha is not willing to be vulnerable yeah with nate mm -hmm. and that's being vulnerable financially yeah yeah that's a big vulnerability and we all have different vulnerabilities, right? Like, financial, being financially vulnerable is not, like, as big of a deal for me as it is for Stasha. But being, like, emotionally vulnerable was a bigger deal for me. And so we all have our different areas that, you know, we have to work through the hard conversations and the opening ourselves and the vulnerability because he had a valid point. You know, if things go south and she decides like, you know, I'm done, get out, he's now homeless. So that's a valid concern. But it's also one that takes time. And this is like an accelerated experience. You know, if they were two years in, they probably wouldn't be having the same conversations. Right. So. I mean, I think it's something that they can get through. And I think it's something that comes up because she's already building her own house. They didn't do it together, you know? So it makes a difference. Right. Even though it's just starting out, I, I think, Stasha, if you see Nate in your house 10 years from now, see him in your house 10 years from now. Ooh. Now. Ah, uh, yes. I see you in my bed 10 minutes from now. Ooh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch. Mitch, 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 Mitch. Mitch. Mitch it up. Mitch. Uh, Mitch, Mitch, Mitch. Mitchin', just Mitchin' all over the place. Mitch! Mitch! Sorry, I had to get that out. <laughs> you had to let the Mitch out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Why? Oh. Uh, Pastor Cal. <laughs> Why, Why did you pick Mitch for this show? I ask this every time. I'm ready for an answer myself. <laughs> I'm angry. Uh -huh. Mitch. Uh. What did he do that was so bad, honey? Not wearing his wedding ring. Up late, talking about 
Oh, the party. The hot girls in beach community. Party, after party, after after party, and well, you know. Hot girls in beach community. Oh, I'm married again. <laughs> Okay. I didn't want to tell everyone that I work with that I'm married because uh, blah 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 blah. After playing a little Dungeons and Dragons, <laughs> Lindy and Miguel get with their respective friends to process things out loud. You know what? I laughed really hard at Dungeons and Dragons, but I do have to admit, there's nothing wrong with having a hobby. No, yeah, there's nothing wrong, yeah. Right, I've, maybe he thinks my hobbies are stupid. I don't know. Do you think his hobbies are stupid? Is that why you say that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Dungeons and Dragons is my thing. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so Lindy and Miguel talk with their friends, like Lindy's talking to her friend, Miguel's talking to his friend, and it's two kind of different stories here. Miguel, I feel like, is not getting it. I don't think he gets how heavy this is weighing on Lindy. Because I feel like he's wrapped up in, in how heavy it weighs on him. But his like heaviness just comes from a place of picking the perfect person for perfect marriage. And Lindy is like, worried about being controlled like she was in the strict religious background that gr she grew up in. It's a little like different. Oh, she doesn't want to be controlled. Yes. Miguel wants to have control over the Every parts. Every single thing. The parts of himself and the parts in Lindy that, or, or the parts of himself that he sees in Lindy right. that he wants to control too. Right, that he sees as a problem. Right. Yeah. Right. So Lindy doesn't want to be controlled. Miguel wants to control everything. What will happen? We shall see. The friends gave pretty good advice. Lindy's friend was like, listen, girl, don't dull your shine. Be you. I mean, she just said that entertainingly because it wasn't me and I'm not friends with Lindy on Yet. the show. Yet. Just throwing it out there. But her friend did give her good advice. And same thing with Miguel's friend. Miguel's friend was like, it just sounds like she just wants you to keep trying. Yeah, that's the part. That's true. Yeah. And to indicate, to, to verbalize that. To yeah. say, yeah, I'm in this. That's all she really wants to hear. Right. Not, well, I'm not sure if this is gonna work out. She wants to hear, I'm in this. Right, and we will work on this. We will make it work. We will figure it out. Because I mean, honestly, that's what marriage is, is that you just keep figuring it out. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, that means with the right person. And no, and that no perfect, no person is perfect, but not a person who like, doesn't treat you well and like, makes you feel bad about yourself. Miguel's not trying to make Lindy feel bad about herself. He's really like confronting his own control issues. He just needs to figure that part out. Mm. Yeah. But we're, I'm talking about with the right person. With the right person, you just gotta figure it out. I mean, we came up to a lot of the same issues or similar issues as Miguel and Lindy and mm. we made it through. Yeah. Do you think they're right for each other? I do. You heard it here first. Lindy and Miguel, it's a yes on decision day. So we love to see a good double date. Oh, I love to go on a good double date. I know, we need to go on a double date soon. Right. Friends, we're coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, Mitch and Kristen and Alexis and Justin were on a double date playing ping pong and Justin and Alexis won. I feel like this is Justin's sport because the other sports are not his sport. No. I'm surprised he's good at this because he's <laughs> he's really hasn't shown a good <laughs> athleticism. <laughs> hand eye coordination. <laughs> anything. And that's okay. You don't have to be good at sports right. to be a good person. I'm no. not really that good at sports. Yeah, you are. I am. Yeah. <laughs> We both are pretty good. I'm pretty athletic. And we're left-handed. <laughs> Fat and athletic. <laughs> Bitches! <laughs> we're about to play tennis. 
Yeah, we are. And I was on JV Tennis in high school. Oh, I can't wait. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so they played ping pong. Justin and Alexis won. Who'd, who'd have thunk it? And they're sitting down and chatting like you do on any good double date. And decision day comes up because, whoa, they are a week away, do they say? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we're almost to the end of this season. Wow. What's gonna happen? Oh, but what I did like to hear is for once I agreed with Mitch. <laughs> he had good points when he was saying like, mm. you know, there's always gonna be things that you don't like about your spouse, you know, because they're a different human than you are. Right. But you gotta like fight through it and you know, you just keep going because you love them and you want to be married to them. And that's valid. Yeah. Yeah, because there's some things I don't like about my spouse. There are some things I love about you. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but it's looking rocky for Alexis and Justin still. And yeah. I love that Alexis calls him out on his shit, you know? Like when Justin is say, says things like, well, if you're 90% about me, then it's a no for me on decision day. And Alexis is like, well, why would you say that? Like, what's your problem? <laughs> Yeah, and Kristen tried to reassure him, like, 90% odds. That's pretty good. Well, no, that's what Mitch's argument was. Kristen was like, if it's a 90% for her, she's saying no. Oh, was she? Yes. Oh, I missed. Okay, yeah. Mitch was the realistic one saying, well, when I hear 90%, I'm like, mm, that's still pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it would be a yes for him. So, yeah. I mean, there's... <sighs> I feel like at the beginning of the season, we we felt for sure Mitch and Chrissy were a no because of Mitch. And I mean, that's still kind of, you know, Oh, that's in play. Abs absolutely true. <laughs> but we also thought that Alexis and Justin were 100% yes. And now I, I don't feel that. I did not think they were 100% yes at the start. You didn't? No. Oh. I thought there were maybe 60% yes because of Justin's issues. Yeah, yeah. Justin, if you ever happen to see this little corner of the internet, we care about you. We love you. I just want you to get some help. I just want you to understand that you're a great person and that you're okay and that you don't have to carry with you the shit you've been carrying for so long yeah. and you can step into this alpha man take charge in the bedroom why are you choking me this is alpha man <laughs> <laughs> you can be that person if that's who you desire to be you just have to like you know work on yourself and realize your power and your worth you know that's all I'm saying. A little therapy goes a long way. Amen to that. I am not okay at the end of that episode. What's wrong? <laughs> uh, that conversation with Lindy and Miguel. Miguel is only hearing what he wants to hear. He is not hearing at all all what Lindy said. Lindy absolutely did not talk shit about him, did not disrespect him or anything. All she said was she feels like she's walking on eggshells, has to control everything she says, she's not being herself, and that's wearing on her. And that's completely valid. I mean, think about it. We all do it in the beginning of relationships. We all try to put on our best face to not to hide, you know, the ugly parts, the embarrassing parts, the whatever parts for this new person. But after a while and in a marriage, you get to let that stuff go and you, need to be able to show up fully 100% yourself. And when you don't, when you keep holding it in, that's why Lindy's so emotional. That's why she's like having outburst. And Lindy, I'm going outburst because they're really not. You're just being an emotional human that, and that's normal, you know? And I totally get it. You know, I'm very team Lindy because I understand her. I feel like that's how I was in the beginning of our relationship when we were having really bad fights. You know, I really was like, you don't understand me. You don't want to understand me. Like, you don't accept me. I can't be fully myself because you won't accept me. And 
I feel like there's hope still mm -hmm. because we're here. Yeah. And eight I, years later. I feel like Miguel is a lot like I was. Really? Yeah, where it's a lot, part of it is the things that I want kept private, I want kept private. Okay. And so like you're telling people about me. Don't tell people about me. But part of that is because of how you're being behind closed doors. Right. And part of that is the fear of being found out. Yes. You're behaving in unhealthy ways. That, you yeah. know, you're not you're not communicating in healthy ways. You're not bringing forward your best self. Right. And you don't want people to know that. That's part of that. Right. For because sure. yes. Miguel, like my beautiful husband, they have the good guy complex. You know, I'm a good guy. I'm, you know, a relationship guy. I am loving and caring and sensitive and all those things. But Miguel is literally so out of touch with, with his emotions. I don't even understand it. Yeah, it, it, it really is. At, at some point for me, I had to realize I had to stop playing the good guy and be the good guy. Right, and that means being accepting of your spouse and saying, listen, whatever controlled idea I have in my head about happiness and wife and perfection and marriage is bullshit. <laughs> and what I have in front of me is happiness, marriage, love, all the things I could have ever wanted. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everything I ever wanted. Yeah! <laughs> but <laughs> I just hope it's not too late for these two. With decision day being next, being a week away, which maybe is the next episode, you know, what are they going to do? Is he going to come to this realization that he just has a lot more work to do? A lot more work in opening up? Yeah. It, if he realizes that the work is his to do too, mm. then they can get through it. Right, and if he does that, he will have done it in record time because it took my husband about <laughs> so many years. <laughs> Lindy, there is hope. Miguel, there is hope. We know you guys can do it. Oh, I can't wait to see next week. They are wrapping up the season. They are doing the final friends and family talks and they're doing the final dates yeah and then it's gonna be decision day oh, oh i can't wait i just feel like i don't know anymore anything i don't know anything oh i do know Let, let's make let's make some picks all right we're getting close to the end let's make some picks all right okay <laughs> justin and alexis yes or no no Ooh. kristen and mitch yes or no no Sasha and Nate, yes or no? Yes. Oh, I don't know. I think that's Rocky. I think we'll see more of the rockiness next week. Yes. Okay, Lindy and Miguel, yes or no? Yes. <gasps> yes. I think there's still hope. I really do believe in it. Because I've seen it, I've lived it. We've <laughs> lived it. And we know you can do it. They are some good eggs. They can do this. Yes. But that's all we got for this week's episode of Relationship, Relationship Reality, Reality with, with the, the Garlands. Garlands. We will see you on the next episode. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, la 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 la. <laughs>